Seleucus or naked Afghan hounds. This is what someone could say when you go out with your Seleuci. While both breeds are doubtless close relatives and share many similarities, there are more differences between them than just the coat. So what are the dissimilarities between them? In this video you will learn everything about the differences of the Seleuci and Afghan hound based on 8 topics so you can find out which one is better for you. Number 1. Origin Both dogs are ancient breeds which date back thousands of years and are sometimes considered as one of the longest living breeds. The Saluki dog breed has been bred for their strength, speed and endurance. Historically referred to as the Persian Greyhound or the Gazelle Hound, their ancient history can be difficult to trace. Thanks to their incredible speed and agility, the Seleuci was often relied on by the Arabs to hunt gazelle, the fastest of the antelopes. Afghans can be traced back to several regions in Afghanistan, with distinct differences in their coat and color depending on where they are from. For centuries they have served as hunting companions for humans, who rely on them for their speed, quick and independent thinking and panoramic vision which are common traits of all sighthounds. Number 2. Personality As with any dog of working origin, those two breeds bond most strongly with one person, probably the one he spends the most time with. The Saluki is an aloof dog, but one who is devoted to his family. He is gentle and thrives on quiet companionship. They can be shy towards strangers which can be changed with the right socialization. They can get along with other dogs, but prefer to spend their time with dogs of their breed or at least other sighthounds. Afghan hounds are neither a very affectionate nor a needy pet. Being playful and enthusiastic as puppies will change into a reserved and aloof dog when older. They love to lay in the corner of a room or on the owner's feet and they prefer to remain detached to his master instead of looking for small animals to catch or surroundings to explore. Number 3. Appearance The Afghan hound is slightly larger, with a straighter top line, more prominent hip bones and distinct tail. And the biggest difference is obviously the coat. Properly groomed, the Afghan's coat is spectacular. It is very fine in texture, similar to human hair, thick and silky. This breed will grow 29 inches tall, which is 74 centimeters, and weighs up to 64 pounds which is 29 kilograms. The Saluki coat is smooth and silky and most individuals have marked feathering on the legs and at the rear of the thighs. However, there is also a smooth coated variety which lacks such adornments. Salukis can grow up to 28 inches which is 71 centimeters and weigh up to 65 pounds which is 29 kilograms. Number 4. Trainability both the Saluki and Afghan hound are intelligent dogs, which doesn't mean they are easy to train. Each of them does have their unique requirements that can make training harder than expected. The Saluki are sensitive, so they need positive training methods to not make them upset. You should be kind and gentle and give them delicious treats when earned. Being so can work wonders and give you motivation for more patient and difficult training sessions. Afghan hounds are known to learn new tricks and roll the comments quickly, only if they get something they want. Don't get frustrated and too critical to ensure that your dog will give its best. You should invest for both of these breeds into professional obedience training if you are not experienced enough to do it yourself. If you want to learn more about dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. Number 5. Time Investment from young age you should make training and exercise a daily routine for your dog. You should spend up to an hour for walks and training sessions to keep them healthy. With a Saluki you will be good to go around the block and give them agility tasks to keep them mentally and physically challenged. An Afghan hound will be happier with long walks and even a jog as they will be able to handle this speed well. Also don't forget to groom and bath your Afghan hound because of their fine, long coat which needs a lot of care. Number 6. Best Home The Saluki and Afghan Hound are not the best choice if you have young children in your house. 
a Saluki will be too overbearing and active for toddlers and can accidentally hurt them. Afghan hounds don't like to be treated badly and persistent hair pulling, which can happen quite often due to their long coat, is a low tolerance area for them. This can even result in defensive biting. It is recommended to have kids older than 8 years old so you can teach them how to approach a dog and to be careful about their power and strength. Number 7. Health Sighthounds in general have naturally low stores of body fat which is why they tend to be sensitive to anesthesia. Like other deep-chested types of dogs, Afghan hounds can experience bloat, a sudden and life-threatening swelling of the abdomen. Owners should educate themselves about its symptoms and what to do should bloat occur. Because of their high activity levels and tendency to run vigorously, Saluki owners should also take precautions to prevent gastric torsion, which is known as bloat. The Afghan hound's life expectancy generally ranges anywhere from 12 to 14 years, whereas the Saluki's life expectancy ranges anywhere from 10 to 17 years. Number 8. Costs The Afghan hound adult or puppy usually costs around $1500 on average. The cost for a well-bred pedigree puppy can even be a bit higher, up to $4000. Nowadays, the Saluki dog price is very high, with an average of $2000 for a puppy. This dog can even cost you more from an ordinary or well-known breeder. The price starts at $2300 and can be up to $10,000. Puppies with such high price like this usually have excellent pedigree and appearance and are mainly raised for breeding or participating in dog shows. So what do you think? Which breed do you prefer, the Saluki or Afghan Hound? Let us know in the comments and share your experience. And if you found this video helpful, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos or learn more about dogs every day. If you are interested in dog brain training and training methods, you should also check out the description. Thank you so much for watching.